Diamond Cutter Media coming at you with another review. This time I'm reviewing the Texas Weapon Systems top rail cover. Right there, that beauty. And I've had it for quite a while now. I just have been wanting to uh, wanting to use it and I, you know shoot a lot with it just to make sure that uh, everything is in working order before I reviewed it. Um, that way that you know I give my honest uh, opinion about it. Um, in my experience uh, so what it is yeah it's just it's a replacement top rail cover that has a, a you can see it's uh well you know what I should do first safety check um, it's a Picatinny top rail and what I really like about it is it allows you to put an optic in the rear um, that was mainly my I guess my main motivation for buying this was because um, I wasn't, I didn't really like having an optic up here. Um, I really wanted to put it back here. Um, so that's why I got it. So what do I think about it? Works great, um, functions reliably, and holds zero, which is most important, right? So let me show you. For the Mini Draco, there's a modification that needs to be done. this part here and so what you need to do in order to make this fit the mini Draco is you have to very carefully file down uh, the sides on this you can see where the file marks are and to file it down here on the sides here and inside of there And then it will fit good. You just have to be really patient with it. Now you don't want to take too much off. But I like that. It just it slips on and off so easy. Locks up tight. And what I even like about it is there's a lot more clearance right here. With my old top rail cover. This uh the bolt when it came back I mean you could see it it was there's some scratch marks right there and the clearance was so tight and I even had to bend this this flange out a little bit just to get a little bit of clearance but still it was still super close and now the bolt rides back a lot smoother um, just way nicer <clears throat> so really all you have to do take out the uh, rear leaf sight and then it comes with the the pin. You put that in, and uh, these uh, screws right here allow you to adjust um, the length to uh, fit for your specific model. But super nice, solid. And I don't, I mean, I don't have any video of me shooting this. You'll just have to take my word for it that it works and holds zero. I've used it quite a bit. And I hadn't had any problems with it. I got this uh, UTG quick detach red dot, um, which for the money is awesome. And rugged and also holds zero. I'm not reviewing this, but just... Uh, it's just nice that it's a quick detach. It's awesome. So that's about all I got, guys. Um, it's not cheap. Um, you know, if it's over a hundred bucks. To some of y'all, that might not be worth it, but to me, it was worth it because um, I love this gun, and it's been uh, an ongoing project, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more to it. The uh, since he, the uh, ATF has decided that you can't legally shoulder the brace, I'm going to be doing an SBR on this soon. And so, thanks for watching, guys.